Greetings to all. This is a small message on the occasion of World Voice Day, 16th April. You know voice is important to everyone. All of us use our voice. There is another category who are professional voice users. You have singers, you have radio jockeys, you have TV anchors, you have teachers, uh, lecturers, professors for whom voice is livelihood. The correct care of voice applies to everyone, be it professional voice user, be it a common man. Now first important thing is talk in a normal tone, don't shout, don't whisper. Measure your words when you speak. People who develop a tendency to talk at high decibels or talk more should be counseled not to do so because if they continue doing that then you will have effect on the vocal cords and soon you have, you'll have development of things like vocal nodules, vocal polyps, edema of both the cords affecting their voice, their self-esteem, their performance. Secondly, hydrate yourself well. Take frequent sips of water. If you have to talk for a longer time, say you are taking a lecture or you are singing, always have a water nearby. Third very good thing to do is steam. Steam is a very good natural way of humidifying your upper respiratory tract. You inhale the steam vapors through the nose and try to take them down and exhale through the mouth. This is very very desirable and it has uh, effect not only on the uh, on the voice but also on the nasal passage. Third thing is Avoid reflux. Today reflux is a very common problem. What happens is the acid from the stomach, it regurgitates back into the voice box, into the throat and causes symptoms like feeling of foreign body in the throat, lump feeling, uh, sore throat, some change in voice. It may affect the performance directly or indirectly. So we have to be very aware that this exists and what we do to avoid it. Don't sleep immediately after your dinner. Sleep two hours after dinner. Your head end should be higher than the body. Use a pillow. Daytime, don't stay hungry for more than four hours. Don't eat heavy meals, but nonetheless, don't stay hungry also. If you stay hungry for a long time, acid forms in the stomach and regurgitates back, affecting the vocal cords and rest of the throat. Wherever reflux is there, and you are, say, getting treatment for your voice disorders, you must get the reflux also treated. Now, there are different forms of uh, lesions which can form on the vocal cord. Some very common ones are like vocal nodules, which are small nodules which form on the vocal cord, common in singers, teachers, etc. And if they form, 90% of them are correctable by voice therapy, by conservative means uh, and vocal hygiene that is correct use of a voice. There are other lesions like say vocal polyps, uh, rinky edema and some other lesions which need surgery for correction. And today uh, laser laryngeal surgery is the international standard where voice can be restored within half an hour of surgery uh, using a state of art laser and where you use a beam which is 100 micron uh, cutting uh, and it removes the lesions with a lot of precision. The next thing is for professional voice users, don't overstrain yourself. If you are practicing for your singing, do, do, don't do too much of your practice sessions or riyas. You should do what your body can take because once your voice gets bad, your singing will be stopped for quite some time and the, you know what will happen after that. So. If you have a voice change for more than two weeks, you must see your ENT surgeon or the voice specialist or the laryngologist who uses a 90 degree telescope or a flexible fibroscope to examine your cords and see all is well with the cords. Because a sudden onset of voice change may, may be uh, something more sinister also like early vocal cord cancer. So a voice change should not be taken lightly. 
so on this world voice day uh, please be aware of your voice relish what beautiful gift god has given you if you have or notice changes don't take them lightly take professional advice and you will always stay happy thank you